Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is floss tube number 18 and today is Saturday, March 23rd, 2019. <sighs> it feels like it's been forever since I filmed a video. It's probably been about three weeks now. Um, it's just been, it's just been crazy. We're in a new place. So we moved about a week and a half ago. Um, we're still unpacking. Um, it's just been like work and unpack, work and unpack. And it's just been chaos. Um, but things are slowly coming together. I have a designated craft room now, which is great. Um, and now I could be filming in here. I need to kind of maybe put some stuff up on the wall. We'll see. Um, we could finally walk through the house now. Like before it was like, we're like jumping over boxes, but it's a little better now. So it's slowly coming together. Um, I actually unpacked this craft room yesterday. Um, things are not where I want them to be yet. I need to go get a little bit of furniture and stuff, but for the most part, I, you know, I took out all my cross stitching stuff and my diamond paintings and everything. And I finally like, I know where things are. So that's good. Um, Really quickly before I jump into things, I wanted to say that um, a few nights ago, my husband and I went to our first military ball and it was just so great to get out of the house, get dolled up, have some drinks, relax. And you know, it was just, a, it was a fun experience. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a few pictures of us at the ball. So if you wanna check that out, Instagram is Jen, J-E-N-N -N underscore crafts. Um, but yeah, that was really nice. Um, let's see here. I have some notes so we could be a little organized. Um, so the Saturday after I filmed my last video, my husband and I drove up to Denver to go to, there was like an estate sale, like a crafty estate sale, which I was really excited about. Um, and I found some pretty good things. There was mainly cross stitch patterns, cross stitch magazines, fabric like cross stitch fabric and then there was a little bit of um like quilting fabric and then just miscellaneous like hoops and just needles and things like that so um so i went up there i did get a few things that i will show in my haul um in a little bit and then the following tuesday march 5th i flew down to texas to surprise my sister for her birthday um and so that was really nice. I wanted to mention it in my last video, but she watches the video sometimes and I didn't want her to know. So I kind of, I didn't mention it, um, but it was really nice. I stayed there through the end of the week and then all three of us, my brother-in-law, my sister and I drove back um, from Texas to Colorado and then they stayed here a few days. And then the day that they left were the day that the movers, came to move everything and it was just like back to back craziness so there hasn't been much much stitching but I did get some progress done and I do want to show you what I've done some haul and just plans because I'm hoping that I'm gonna find some more time to stitch soon like now that things are kind of dying down um and then I think this coming so today's Saturday so Next Friday, hopefully, um, if things go as planned, then we will be going to California um, to go to a wedding and it's my husband's birthday. And so just like to get away for a little bit would, would be really nice. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, things go as planned and then I could stitch in the car, read some Harry Potter. Um, it that's been like our thing my husband and I I read Harry Potter in the car out loud and it's been really nice so hopefully we could finish a few books on that road trip so that would be awesome um okay so I'm gonna start with haul because I feel like I have a good amount of haul to share um let's see so I have some like digital haul and then I have some like physical stuff so I guess I'll, I'll show that first so let's start with the um, the estate sale that I went to. So this is just like regular fabric. Um, 
that I picked up for like finishing. I thought that would be like a cute checkered background on some pieces. Um, and then I got this Lizzie Kate mystery sampler, a Christmas sampler. Um, I was really excited because I actually have the first part. It's a three part series. I have the first part. Um, and I was excited because all three of them are, are in here, which is awesome. So I got that one. And then I got Little House Needleworks Song of the Seasons. And again, all three of them are in this as well, which is awesome. I didn't know until after I bought them that the whole series were in here. So it was a really nice surprise. And then I got, um, let me see here. This was kind of cute. Um, I don't know. It just called my name. This is by Amy Brook Brooken. I, I've never heard of her before, but it's called The Witch's Inn. And it looks like she even signed it. By the way, I got my nails done for the ball. Um, and I was really debating because I wanted to make sure that I could stitch with them. So far, it's not too bad. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but I was really hesitant. Uh, my husband thought I was hesitant because, you know, because of work, because I use like little tweezers to do things and um, I wasn't concerned about that at all. I was concerned about stitching, um, but it, it hasn't been too bad, so. Okay, then I got, wait, did I get this? Hold on. I got this over here. Hold on, some things are a little mixed up here. Okay, I kind of got some stuff mixed up, but um, I think that's, I, I think it's good now. So I also got this um, Dimensions Counted Cross Stitch. It's like a kit. It is Farm Country Eggs. And I think this might be out of print. And because of that, I picked up two of them. So this is not really something that I would do, but I think I'm going to post them up on eBay and see if I could sell them because I think that there are some, a lot of people that would like this, you know, the whole farm, farm thing. So I got that. And then I scored on some fabric. Look at all that. Um, yeah, it's huge. I mean, I could keep going. It is, I believe, I took a picture of it on my phone because um, of the type of fabric this was. She had the name of the fabric, but the piece that was cut didn't have the name. So I had taken a picture and I forgot to check what it was and I'm using my phone so I can't check. But I think it's like a 20, um, a 26 or a 28 count, I wanna say. Um, I want to say 26, which I've never used 26, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and a few other pieces of like linen and stuff like that, which I'm not sure what the count is. I would have to check, but, um, yeah, that, I love this for like, um, like cutting pieces off of and, and dyeing it. Or if I just need like a cream fabric, then I have a whole bunch now, which is awesome. So that was at the estate sale. And then after the estate sale, I went to the craft box, which is like a thrift, stop, a thrift shop for crafts near Denver. It was my first time and it was just so awesome. Um, so I picked up a few things there. The drawn thread when I am sewing. So this is for the pin pillow and scissor fob. And then I also got uh, the Victoria Sampler Garden Wedding Sampler. I got, let me see. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Jack-O-Lantern Candy Bucket.
and I got this um so this is St. Augustine Florida and it just has like the city gate and things like that um I'm never gonna stitch this but I really wanted it because we we lived in St. Augustine Florida we have a house out there we love St. Augustine Florida um it's just so historic and beautiful and I just thought it was so great to find this I don't know it, it was awesome and then I got this like card um this is by Rosewood Manor and it's just a, a greeting card and it comes with like an envelope and it's the patterns on the back I could stitch it up and then it's meant to be a, a greeting card basically so you just finish it up and you could um you could just include your pattern with it or however but I just thought this was really pretty so I think I want to stitch this up but without the alphabet so just like that and then I also got Country Cottage Needleworks Merry Christmas sorry the lighting's not the best it's very gloomy today it looks like it's gonna rain or snow or something okay and then I got um, I got just like little scraps of fabric. I got like two neutral-ish colors. And they're just small scraps. These would be good for like ornaments or something like that. I got this like plum color and then this blue color. This one's a little bigger. I really like the color on this. Look at that, that's awesome. So that's all I got at the um, at the craft box, and then I forgot that I had got two more hoops. Um, I think I got these at the estate sale. They're just in the wrong box, uh, the wrong bag. Because um, at the estate sale, I also got two needle minders. Got this one, which is the, the what is it called? Oh my God. What is that Disney movie called with the witch? Oh, it's gonna bug me. Oh my God, it's gonna bug me. And then I just got like a moon. So. So that's all I got at the estate sale and then the craft box. That was just like a really fun day. We just went out and went to go get crafts and then we went to Ikea. It couldn't have gotten any better for, for me. Uh, my husband didn't look like he was having the best time but he's a trooper. That's why I love him and it was a, it was a really good day. Okay, what's next? I learned or discovered um, matcha. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's like a powder. Um, it's like a green tea powder essentially and I discovered it. It's been around forever. I've heard about it so many times, um, but I learned how to make a latte. I bought some matcha, made a latte, and I found like the perfect latte recipe and I've been obsessed, seriously. I, um, they sell a matcha, this is a total rant by the way, I'm sorry, but they sell a, like a matcha green tea latte at Starbucks, like you get an iced or or hot or whatever and I tasted it and I really liked it but it was a little too leafy for me like leafy tasting so I make my own and I use a little less of the powder so I don't get like the strong leaf flavor anyway I swear I think mine's better than Starbucks but I could just be biased but it's so good and I've been drinking at least one to two a day like it's it's pretty bad okay next is haul from 123 Stitch. Um, so Cassie from Cassie Stitches, um, she um, was using this floss. It is the Gentle Arts Slate. She was using this in one of her patterns and I just loved the color. I asked her what it was and I went ahead and ordered it. Now she's using one that's a, like a, like an older lot, I think. Um, because hers does look a lot different. It's beautiful. Um, 
and she told me going into it and I knew that th these were gonna be a little different but I still love the color it's like the perfect variegated um, it's just like slightly variegated like bluish gray color so I really I picked up two of them I really like that and then um, I picked up and I'll show it in a little bit but I picked up some easy count grid um, you know like the fabric that's already pre-gridded I picked that up and it's currently in use which I will get to in a moment because oh god then um, again from one two three stitch so like my second purchase from one two three stitch because that's how long I've not recorded um, I got just a few things you know just a few um, <laughs> So I got Pineberry Lane Bushel and a Peck, which I didn't know what that meant to be honest, but my good friend told me what it meant, so thank you Cassie. Um, it's super cute. I love it. I love this. I want to for sure get this done this year. Um, not anytime soon, but maybe, I don't know, Stitch Mania maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And then one other pattern I got was Ink Circles Tapestry? Tapestry? Tapestry. Um, I keep seeing Ink Circles on Instagram. Um, I just, I don't know. I love this, but I'm going to be changing the colors like a ton. Um, I want to make it like vibrant, either vibrant, like bright colors. Um, or like very like spring like colors like pastel. I haven't decided if I want like summer colors or like spring colors. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely changing the colors. I'm really excited about this. Um, I have to like just sit down and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. But those are the two patterns that I got. And then I got two fabrics. Because you, know you know me and my grays and my blues. Um... So I got 32 count Vintage Stormy Night Lugana. Let me see if you could, the lighting is just not the best. Oh my God. It's a little better, I guess. Um, it's really gloomy outside. And then the light's like behind me, so that's not good. And then I got um, 32 count Ariel Belfast Linen. See if you can see that. I'll, I'll post a picture on Instagram later today if you want to go check that out. You can see a better picture of it. Usually they look better on camera, but I have to figure out this um, new setup here because usually I have light coming from the front of me and now it's behind me. So it's just, it wasn't so bad a while ago, but um, it's just getting dark out. So I got those two fabrics and then I got, so I had mainly placed this order for one thing, like this is what I placed the, the order for. Um, I just need it and I'll explain why I need this like purple lavender color. Um, by the way, this is the Gentle Arts um, Sugar Plum. And it's beautifully variegated. I mean, you could see it's like a like a medium. It actually looks darker on camera. It's not that dark. It looks like a medium purple shade and then a really light like lilac shade. It's beautiful. Um, this is what I wanted to purchase. And I know things can't travel alone, but I might have like overdone it because one thing became two fabrics, um, the two patterns, and then like all this. Yeah. So I'm not gonna like name every single one of these, um, but I wanna show you a few that like stood out to me that are like really, really pretty. This Granny Annie is like a, like a cobalt blue black. It is not showing up how I wanted to show up. Jesus. Okay, this lighting. Uh, it's kind of showing up. 
Um, so that one is just really awesome. Also, this one, it's Classic Color Works Tyler Bo Boy Blue. Oh my God, I love this. Look at that. It's like a, kind of like a purple blue and then a lighter blue. Beautiful, like love the variegation. It's always so hard to buy things online because you can't see the variegation. Um, this one doesn't have a ton of variegation, but it's like a really bright turquoise, which if I decide to do like the bright, vibrant colors for that ink circles, this will definitely be in there. Um, along with this one, which is Poppy, which again is not that variegated, but it's super bright. So I'm thinking that would be awesome. And then this one is called Bejeweled and it is just a beautiful, um, like a turquoise green color. It has great variegation, it's beautiful. A lot of these were great, like, I mean, they're just awesome. Again, I'm not gonna show all of them cause we'll be here all day. Um, these are very variegated. These two by um, Weeks Dye Works. One's Uni Union Blue and the other one is Love. Look at those. Very variegated. I love that. So pretty. Blackberry. Very variegated. Like a burgundy color. Burgundy pinkish. And I'll show you just a few more. Again, if I do like the vibrant colors, this one's so crazy. It's called Caribbean by Weeks Dye Works and it is just very variegated and beautiful. Love that. And I'll show you like one more. Let's see here. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh, this one's really pretty. Oops, it got like stuck, hold on. Okay. This one is Peacock and it's so pretty. It's like a blue, purple, and like a turquoise color. Very variegated, love that. Okay. I have some more neutrals in here. They're just, they're beautiful. Um, but I, I just won't show them all because it, it'll take a really long time. Um, I lied, I'll show you one more. Mediterranean Sea, it's just, Oh my God, I love this. It's so pretty. It's like a deep turquoise blue. I don't know, it's just so pretty. Um, if you have questions on any of them, let me know. And I could always let you know what they're called or post a picture on Instagram or something like that. Okay. So, I will explain why I needed this one right now in a bit. So let's see, what else did I purchase? Okay, I purchased two digital patterns that I just fell in love with. Let's see here. Oh, I purchased more than two, but I'm gonna show you these two first. I can't pronounce the name of the artist or the designer, um, so I'm not even gonna try, but it's called The Little Mermaid. Love that. I don't know what it is. Isn't she so cute? And look at those colors. Like the colors of this designer. Like I just discovered her. This one's called, I can't read it backwards. Posing. Look at the colors. It's super adorable. I love that. I love that. Um, so I bought those two. Don't know when I'm gonna start those, not anytime soon, but I, I just, I love them, I had to have them. Um, then I bought two other digital copies because, and let me explain now why I needed this here. So, um, I, I don't know if I've mentioned, but my, my little, I say little sister, but she's gonna have a, like a quinceanera party. So a 15 year old party and um, She's doing like a lavender type theme. So I wanted to stitch her up something, a little gift. And I couldn't decide between these two um, patterns. So I got both of them. And then I finally decided what I wanted to do. So this one is the first one. 
Ooh, oh my goodness. Let me see. By Jardin Privé. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's beautiful. I had originally thought maybe I'll just do the girl and that's it. Um, but I actually ended up, this one's more simple, but I think it's really cute. Um, so I'm actually going to end up doing this one. I think it's beautiful. And this one, I found it on Etsy. And I think that's the Etsy name right there. Lou Divine Creations. Um, I'll link it down below. All right, I'm sorry guys, I got a phone call. I need to seriously put this phone on airplane mode when I'm recording. Okay, so like I said, I will post a link down below for this one if you're interested, okay? But what I'm planning to do is I'm just gonna use white, this is 28 count even weave white fabric. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna use this variegated floss. And I think it's gonna pop, I, this lighting, I, I, it's really bothering me. Um, I think it's gonna look great. Um, I really, I really think it's gonna look good. So, so there's that. Um, I really need to get started on that, um, like ASAP. Um, because her party is April 20th, I believe. So I have less than a month and I have like a ton of other things to do. So yeah. Um, and let's see what other, okay, my last two purchases, they're digital purchases and I'm gonna go off like <sighs> on a rant for a little bit cause I'll try to keep it very minimal, but I have so many patterns, so many projects, so much I want to accomplish. And tell me why I had to start a Hade. I started my first Heaven and Earth design. I actually purchased two of them because um, they were having a sale a few days ago and I bought another one. Um, but honestly, I'm at the point where I want to challenge myself a little bit more. I want to start getting into specialty stitches, which I have a few, the drawn thread, patterns that I want to start later this year um, and then just like the whole um, parking and full coverage like I just want to get into a little bit more I want to challenge myself and push myself a little bit more and you know I was in Texas actually I was so I was visiting my sister when I decided when I saw a pattern that I loved um, absolutely loved it um, and I, I knew I had I had to stitch it and so I had my brother-in-law go with me to Hobby Lobby and get all the floss. And then I sat there while he watched the movie and I bobbinated all of them. So let me show you which one it is. It is called Paris Streets. And I just think it's beautiful. I've even um, figured out how to grid. <laughs> So I could look at my different pages. So I started right here. I've only done a hundred stitches. Um, I was doing a lot of research in terms of how I wanted to stitch it. I didn't want to do um, columns because I didn't want column lines and then rows also give you like some like lines. Um, so I was looking at Jessie Marie um, how she does hers, which I think is great because um, it just reduces column lines like greatly from from what I see. Um, so she does she works like diagonally page by page and um, it took watching her videos several times for me to kind of get the hang of it. Um, so I'm, I'm still learning as I go. But for the most part, I think I have it down. Um, I just started the other day. Um, it was like two in the morning. No, it was like midnight. I want to say it was like midnight and I wanted to just I've just been dying to start, you know, I something that's gonna take me years So I just if I could just do a hundred stitches like every other day, you know, give or take I, I would make progress. Okay, so this is my little start um, And this is what I was referring to earlier this fabric is 28 count Lugana and then you could see where my threads have started here. I started my threads here and then I'm just parking. So yeah, I really want to work on this um, in a little bit. 
Um, so yeah, my first heaven and earth design. Um, whenever there is a um, sale, like a 20, 25% your total purchase sale that sometimes like Joann's or Michael's or whatever, I will probably kit up the other one, which I will show you my other Hade. By the way, the two videos that Jesse Marie did, um, one is like how she um, parks and stuff like that and the other one's more, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's two videos that I watched religiously and I will link those down below. And Jesse, if you're watching this, thank you so much because it literally helped so much. Um, and then also shout out to Cassie because girl, you put up with so much. I ask her so many questions, I feel so bad. Thank you Cassie for being so patient with me. Still being a newbie here. Um, you're, you're just so sweet, thank you so much. Um, okay, so the other Hade that I bought was um, Our Own Heaven, and it's this one here. And this one really spoke to me like immediately I saw it and I was like, I have to get it. Um, same with the Paris one, which has not happened with Hades for me because personally I'm not like a huge fan of like um, stitching like women and stuff like that. I've kind of gone through that before. Um, but um, these just spoke to me. The Paris one, because we went to Paris a few months ago, fell in love, love it. Um, and then this one, um, it's a gazebo and my husband and I got married in a gazebo. It it, it instantly reminded me of the gazebo where we got married. Um, and just, I just, it's beautiful. It just reminds me of that and it's gonna be very special for us and I'll probably hang it in our room like when I'm done, like in 10 years, I don't know. Um, but it's just really special. So the Paris one and this one I'm very excited about. Um, and I'm excited to kind of like grow as, as a stitcher and, and, you know, start learning, you know, challenge myself to start learning a little bit more. Um, okay. What's next? Do I have any more haul? I'm looking at my notes. Yes, I do have more. Okay. It's been a few weeks guys. Okay. It's been a few weeks. Um, one last thing that I bought, and I bought it used on eBay, was this Case Creation lap stand. Um, I, so, let me back up. I got this at a really, I, I think it was a really good price. Um, however, they stated that, um, and I'll just, I'll just tell you, it was, um, with shipping and everything, it was about $30, $29. Um, it said it was in excellent condition. Um, when it arrived, the wood and everything, it was in really great condition. However, the, the hardware, it was like rusted and, and it just wasn't good. So I could have returned it. Um, I, I was a little disappointed about that. It was missing a screw and then the other ones were rusting. However, I had an, a feeling that I could figure it out. My husband and I could figure it out and we went to Lowe's that same day. He is just like the best husband ever. We were there for a while and just looking for all the hardware. Um, they didn't have, the, when this arrived, it did not have knobs or anything. It just had like the, what are these called? Whatever they're called, um, I forget. Um, so I wanted some of these. So I told him, hey, let's pay a little more and get these. It'll be easier to turn and stuff. So. We went ahead and got that. So I ended up spending about $16, $15, $16 on the hardware. Um, actually, it was closer to 17, I remember. It was like 16 something, so it was like 17 bucks. Um, and so I was like, man, after shipping and all that, it came out to like $47, which is more than I wanted to spend. But um, what I did is I contacted um, the the seller on eBay and you know, I nicely told her like hey this said it was in excellent condition But you know, I could you know send you pictures and you know, the hardware is rusted and she responded and she said I did notice that they were, they were rusted and I'm sorry that I had listed it incorrectly So she ended up just refunding me literally $17 Which is 
awesome. So I paid, you know, 11, 12 bucks for this thing. I mean, give or take, I had to pay for all the hardware, right? But still, I think it was a pretty good deal. Now I haven't, um, I haven't tried using it yet because first off, this is a really small scroll frame. Um, I think it's just like 13 inches and then the sidebars are really short. They're like seven inches. So it's kind of awkward. Um, but I could still definitely use it. I just honestly don't know how to sew in the ends. Um, I'm sure it's easy. I'm sure you just like whip stitch or whatever, but, um, I just haven't had, I literally haven't had time. Um, so hopefully, you know what, probably tonight I'm going to try to, um, I'll probably try to put this one on here because it's small enough and um, I loosen this and I have to like, I was going to fix it anyway, so I, I might as well just put it in here. Um, so yeah, this is my first lap stand. I'm really excited to try it out and yeah, I'm just, I hope I like it because if I do, then I'll go ahead and buy some more of the scroll frames. So super excited about that. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go into whips because, yeah, because I already showed my hate. So I've already shown this. So we'll go into my other whips. Um, the only other thing I worked on really was this, um, frosted pumpkin citrus. Um, the March block, literally, this is all I have right there. That is it. Uh, yeah, I really need to catch up because I know myself and if I fall behind, I will stay falling behind because I'm just, I lose motivation. You know, I just want to stay up to date and get it done. Um, so I really need to, um, stitch like ASAP. And then also... This is a new start. I don't know if I've showed this before, but it is the farmyard parade. I might have shown it last video. I'm starting this one here for the stitch and give for the retreat in April that McKenna is hosting, stitching in sequence, and it is the retreat stitch nanigans in Arizona. Um, it's like three weeks away. I'm so excited to like meet everybody. Oh my god. So this is my start. Um, I did most of this in the car on the road trip from Texas back to Colorado. So um, it's a good amount of progress because the majority of this is seriously her dress. Look at that, it takes up like the majority of it. So I really need to get in gear and get this done because I would like to have it done by the end of the month so that I could um, have plenty of time to, um, to FFO it and then figure out what else I wanna kind of include in my little gift. Um, I want to be a little creative and figure something out. So I really need to get that done. Um, let's see. Let's see what else I have. Um, I showed in my last video that I finished my, um, and I'll pull it out really quick. I have it right here. I finished my March flip it bits. Um, I actually finished it in April, I believe the end of April. Um, and here it is here. Um, but I have not FFO'd it because we moved and I wanted to FFO it before we moved. It just didn't happen. So now that I have it and I kind of have things a little situated, I'm going to really try to FFO this very soon and just get that done. Okay. Now, um, I guess let's go into plans really quick. So... Plans, stitch and give, just talked about that. Stitch and give, okay, gotta get that done. Um, I would like to get in 100 stitches um, at least every other day for my hate, okay? I have to get this block done ASAP, okay? Frosted pumpkin stitchery, so have to get that done. Then I have to get my sister's gift done. That is probably the second priority after the stitch and give. Stitch and give is priority right now. Cause gotta get that done. Okay, then I need to do, um, do I have that out? Actually, I don't know if I have it out. I have to work on um, Satsuma Street Sweet Spring. I don't know where that's at, damn it. Um, okay, here it is. Um, I would love to get this done by Easter 
don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm getting so hot in here. Um, so I would really like to get this done. I wanna work on that. And then the last thing that I kinda wanna focus on is gonna be a new start. And again, um, it's a gazebo. And it's called Main Street by Country Cottage Needleworks. I have been wanting to start this and I just have been putting it off and putting it off and now I'm panicking and in a hurry because I would love to give this to my husband for our anniversary. Um, our wedding anniversary is April 8th. So that's like two weeks away, oh my God. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. If I don't, I'll, I'll get it done next year. Um, I would really love to do it. Um, it's small, it looks like a quick stitch. If I get my act together, maybe I could do it. Um, and then I chose this fabric, which is an ice blue cashel. 28 count. Yep. I think that would look nice. And I forgot one more. <laughs> oh my God. Another thing I would like to start soon is um, April flip it bits and it's just a great fabric I'm gonna use I think it'll look good so I think the bunny will pop more um, so those are my plans there's a lot going on and I really hope that I could accomplish some things um, another plan of mine is um, I really would like to make an Excel spreadsheet and make different tabs for each different like um, floss de designer whatever um, and then within each tab put down all the floss colors that I own um, because I want to start building my collection of the variegated flosses or the fancy flosses or whatever you want to call them um, which is why I bought a good amount um, but I have some Flosses like put away with other projects like with whips and stuff So I have to like pull them all out and write everything down. And it's gonna take a while um, but it is a, a goal of mine before the retreat because When I go to the retreat, I would like to um, Buy some flosses because I want to be able to see them in person and buy some flosses at the LNS and I want to make sure that I don't buy any duplicates um, accidentally I say accidentally because if I love one I might buy two or whatever Okay, um, and I guess that's it for, I haven't done any diamond painting. Um, I've done like nothing, but while I was unpacking this room, there are like, there are a few things that I found that I have not seen for like a year and a half since Florida. Um, if you've been following me, like I was in Florida and then LA and then Arizona and then Colorado, it's been crazy but my stuff has been like in storage for a long time and I just unpacked it. And I just wanted to share with you um, a few of my like sewing quilting things that I've done. So if you're interested, then stick around. If not, then I will see you um, next week. I would like to vlog a little bit on my road trip to LA. So stay tuned for that. But um, I just wanted to share a few things. Okay. So first, I wanted to share with you this little umbrella applique. Is that what it's called? I don't even remember. Seriously, it's been so long. Um, they're just little umbrellas that I that I stitched together, and then I did the free motion um, sewing. So basically, your foot doesn't walk like the sewing foot. It's just free motion, so you just move it with your hands, and. You can see my stitching in the back. I tried my best. This was my first like, I think it's called applique. I think. It's been a while. It's been a good while. Um, and then I also did this like mini quilt. I love this. I love this so much. Um, honestly, I don't remember how I made it. <laughs> but I love the fabric. And I just did straight stitching on the back. You can see just the lines of straight stitching see that this lighting I'm sorry guys I will find a better position next week that's what she said okay now 
I'm gonna show my first quilt that I ever made. Okay, I'm not in love with the fabric, but it was the first quilt, so I'm happy to have it. So let me show you really quick. Okay, so this is it here. And um, it is yellow on the back. I don't know what I was thinking in terms of colors, but it was a long time ago, I think. At least four years ago, okay? My taste has changed. Um, and I was just probably trying out things with affordable fabric or whatever, but that was my first quilt that I ever made. And then I made another one. I think this was my second quilt and this one's bigger. So this one's huge and they're big blocks basically. So that is all one block. Oh my God, it's huge, I can't even. Um, and you can see the quilting on the back, I think. So I made that, I made this one for, um, I think for my, master bed that's why it's so huge okay um i was i went to the next room to see if i could find my other quilt that i made um i love that one the most i think and that one i use for i made it specifically for the guest bed to fit it um but it's packed away still i think because i haven't seen it and i can't find it but when i do find it i'll go ahead and show you guys and then one last thing that i wanted to show you that i um, made um, actually, I guess I could show you two things. So this is a wallet that I made. I used to make a lot of these and sell them. Um, they are great wallets. They have a lot of compartments. I made a whole bunch of different color variations. They have like all these card slots here and here. Money goes in the back here. Um, then you have like a zipper here, a zipper here. You have a flap here with a middle section where you can put like your phone or whatever, the other zipper part, and then a whole other front part with more slots for your card. And even an, an additional part here for more things. Um, and then there's like rivets here on the side that I put in um, and it has a snap closure. The only thing I wish it had because I just want to add even more is the zipper in the back. Um, these were a challenge to make, a challenge to learn. I finally got it down pretty well, but now it's been a few years and I probably, probably can't make this anymore. I have no idea. Here's another one here. And I even have like a Florida one. Um, so yeah, I actually used to sell these for 40 to $50. Um, and they sold pretty well. I just have a few left that I need to probably post up on eBay or something and sell these. Um, but yeah, um, and honestly, it was just so much work, and, but I loved it. Um, but I stopped making them just because it was just so much work. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm very proud of those though. And um, the last thing I wanna show, and I, I ha I've had this out, but I use it all the time. Um, is this purse that I made. It's so comfy. Um, it's like a foam. It's called Inner Form Plus, if you're familiar. Um, and this has pockets like all the way around. It's super comfy. I use this for crafts. So I'll probably take this to the retreat just cause it's so comfortable and it's huge. I just throw a whole bunch of like cross stitch stuff. Right now I have um, um, crochet in here. And then I even have like some pockets in here. I have like two pockets in here, two big pockets. And, and yeah, it has a zipper closure. Um, I used to make a lot of these different like styles, different fabrics, and I used to sell these as well. Um, I used to even embroider um, name here, um, like machine embroider, and sell them as like diaper bags and 
yeah, those went really well. I, I really used to be into like sewing and quilting like crazy and then I just over cross stitch. But I do miss sewing and quilting and I just took out like my sewing machine yesterday and I have all my fabrics and stuff so I really want to get to that very soon. Um, and I think that's all I wanted to share for now. Um, just want to make sure. Yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, I will be going more than likely. Oh, did I mention that? I don't even know. So this coming weekend, we're going to go to LA for a wedding and for my husband's birthday. Just like a little road trip getaway. Um, I think we're taking the dogs with us. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I kind of want to vlog a little bit, show you what I'm working on. I'm going to really try to get a lot of stitching done in the car. Um, definitely not my hay because it's just too small. I'm not going to take that one with me, but I will focus on my other pieces and I will be posting on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, Jen underscore crafts and stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to try to do better at posting more frequently. So alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching and I will try to get this light situation figured out for next time and hope you guys have a great weekend and talk to you soon. Bye guys.